Technomats here with another video. Welcome back and today we're looking at boolean functions. One of the best things about Excel is its ability to evaluate functions mostly when it comes to conditional formatting where you need to make, to make a decision simply based on a result being true or false. So one of the best best case studies I can do for this specific video will be looking at the AND function, the OR function, the NOT and lastly the OR function so essentially what a boolean test or a boolean function will do is it will take an input and it will perform a test and based on the condition that you are doing it will return true or false based on the specific function you're using so if we can look at the AND function the AND function essentially checks all the conditions that you have put in and if all of them are evaluated to be true then it returns true if any of them is false it returns false and for the or function essentially it looks at only one condition needs to be true if any condition is true then it returns a true function but only when all conditions evaluate to false only then will, re will it return a false function the next one is a not a not simply just like the gets uh, a note will reverse the input if you give it true it will return false and vice versa and you might wonder why do you require a function that just reverses your output if it's true or false these type of functions are required in extended gate designs mostly from in an engineering perspective where you need an output to evaluate or to meet a certain criteria for you to be able to go through say another AND gate most mostly in circuit designs and such things then an XOR will return true only and only if one of the tests is true so we are all aware of the basic gets and uh, sorry for that let's put this to 0 1 and this side we can put 0 0 So what, what I'm trying to do here is simply create a basic truth table to demonstrate what we're talking about. So in this truth table, if we're using an AND gate and we are checking for both being zero, it will evaluate to zero if we're using an AND gate. For this one, it will evaluate to zero. This is specifically to an AND kind of gate. If we are still checking, if both are either zero or one, then it will return to zero a false and only this one will be true so this is the kind of examples that we want to do but using the functions in excel not in an engineering perspective so the first function we can do is uh, the and get so in the and get let's check that this is equals to four just like we've seen and check that this is equals to six so in this scenario, ideally it will return true because both values are exactly what we are looking for. So if I click on the same formula and change one of them to something different, it will return false despite the fact that this value at A4 is 6. So the next example you can look at is an OR gate for the exact same evaluation. So just dragging down the formula and changing the function itself. So in this scenario, what we're looking at is uh, that A4 is equals to 6 because I've dragged down. So it has auto-incremented all the functions. And A4, let's put in 6 at this point. At A5, let it be at 6 because this is false, but this is true. If I hit enter, because we're using an OR gate, it will evaluate as true. So the next thing we can do, let's drag this down and uh, let's edit the formula out and include an XOR. So an XOR will also, sorry for that, an XOR will also return true because in this scenario, only one and only one needs to evaluate to be true. So at A5, if I put in 10, it will evaluate to true. If I come back to the same and at A6 I put in 7 it will evaluate to false simply because both values are true so just a quick 
example of what this truth table looks like. So the truth table for an XOR gate at this point it will evaluate to false, but this point will be one, this point will be one, and this point will be zero. Because if these two are equal uh, and evaluate to true, then it will change to false. But if only one and only one evaluates to false, this becomes a true scenario. This is the truth table of an XOR gate. So the last example we can look at, let's look at the NOT gate. So it's simply putting in the formula for the NOT gate and checking that this is equals to 7 returns to false. Because this is true, but again, because we are using a NOT gate to inverse the solution, this is what we get. So in the next video, we'll be doing some very, very practical examples. For example, when you're doing some case studies, you might be reading some, you know, readings. You are you want to evaluate which ones fall within your parameters, maybe the maximum and the minimum value. And we'll essentially be looking at how you can evaluate this and scenarios where instead of getting, you know, a true or false, simply adding two double negations evaluates to one or zero. So this is what we're looking at in the next video and uh, I look forward to your comments, you know, your feedback. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, make sure you share and catch you on the next one. Thank you.